from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. A new literacy curriculum for Henrico County Public Schools and your chance to weigh in about regional transportation projects. We'll tell you about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Monday, February 12, 2024. It's brought to you today by Brick Road Coffee. And now for the news. At this Thursday's Henrico Planning Commission meeting, two Eastern Henrico development proposals, including more than 100 new homes and a school for children younger than five, will be considered. The Maggie Walker Land Trust is proposing to redevelop almost seven acres in Highland Springs at the intersection of East Washington Street and North Airport Drive to build 22 townhomes, a commercial building, and two buildings with 45 apartments that would be operated by the YWCA and the Children's Home Society of Virginia. Elsewhere in the Verina District, Dorado Capital LLC is proposing 85 single-family homes on a 30-acre site north of Nine Mile Road between Orham's Lane and Westover Avenue next to Robinson Park. And in the Tuckahoe District, the owners of the Gateway Apartment Complex on North Parham Road are proposing a new five-story building that would contain 80 apartments. We've got details about all these proposed developments right now on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. Well, the Central Virginia Transportation Authority is seeking public input about proposed projects that would improve transportation infrastructure in the Richmond region during the next five years. The projects are part of the agency's fiscal year 2025 to 2030 regional revenue draft funding scenario, and they include about $151.5 million worth of bike, pedestrian, bridge, and highway improvements. The CVTA was created to help fund regional transportation projects. Member localities, including Henrico and other regional transportation partners, engaged in a competitive application process through which the projects were submitted for funding. Now the public can comment on the proposed draft slate of projects. You have until February 23rd to do so online or by email, or you can attend a February 23rd hearing at 9 a.m. at the Plan RVA location at 424 Hull Street to comment in person or do so through a Zoom webinar. Details about all these methods are available on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. Henrico County Public Schools will have a new elementary school reading curriculum beginning this fall when all Virginia school divisions are required to implement the Virginia Literacy Act. Sixth through eighth grade students who need extra reading support also will have a Literacy Foundations course taught by a reading specialist. The act was passed two years ago for grades K through 3 and expanded last year to grades 4 through 8, and it mandates that all school systems adopt the new K through 5 literacy curriculum and list of reading texts approved by the Virginia Department of Education beginning in the coming school year. Governor Glenn Youngkin signed the legislation after a 2021 study revealed that 35% of K-2 students in the state had scored below expected literacy levels that year. The act also requires school divisions to employ one reading specialist for every 550 elementary school students and one for every 1,100 middle school students. That means Henrico will need to recruit 20 more elementary specialists and 10 more middle school specialists for the coming school year. We've got much more on this topic right now on our website from our Report for America education reporter, Leanna Hardy. Internationally renowned Brazilian restaurant Fogo de Chao is opening its third location in the state today at West Broad Village in Shore Pump. It's at 11221 West Broad Street. During its first week of sales, the restaurant will donate a portion of its profits to Feed More Richmond. The restaurant features a large dining room with a peninsula grill where guests can watch as gaucho chefs prepare and grill cuts of meat. And the Junior League of Richmond is moving into Libby Mill Midtown in Henrico's near West End. The organization announced earlier this month that it would move its headquarters to a 2,700 square foot space at 5000 Baker's Mill Lane, adjacent to Capital Eye Care and Blue Ridge Cyclery. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Brick Road Coffee, your local European-style coffee shop and cafe in Henrico's West End, which combines 
The finest in fresh roasted coffee and espresso with fresh baked goods, handmade breakfast sandwiches, and filling lunch offerings. Brick Road Coffee can accommodate your large group meetings or just one or two for a relaxing coffee and conversation with a welcoming patio. Catering is also available. Stop by today at 8055 Schrader Road near Parham Road to try the new smoked salmon bagel and special fall drinks or visit BrickRoadCoffee.com.